Who is that? In the green? It is. None other than Booger Man! A pick and flick adventure. Yes, this is a real game on the Sega Genesis, and I love it. So, here you play Booger Man. Go down the toilet. It is a dark and stormy night at Professor Stinkbomb's lab, where a machine has been built to save the world from pollution by trans-existing it into dimension excrement. Eccentric millionaire Snotty Ragsdale has taken a job at the lab to investigate its safety and find out exactly where the pollution is going. He has a bad feeling about this latest contraption. This night, his suspicions will come true. So he's a billionaire and he's dressed up like a janitor and he sneezes onto... Oh god, something took the thing and he runs into the bathroom and he comes out as... That's right, he says it. Booger. Flatulent swamps. So Booger Man's a platformer. Beautiful animation. You collect these little things. You have two things going on. You can... Um, what is it? Flip snot. On the upper left, you can see that little booger thing. That's your snot meter. And the other thing you can do is you can burp. Attack. You hold the button down, charge it, and... And what makes this game even worse... He has a back attack. Oh yes, this game's for real. So the cape represents his life. It's flashing right now, so he can take a couple hits. There we go. Everything powers up your snot, fills up your meter a little bit. Uh, soda increases your burp meter. This is this game awesome. That looks like a lot of rocks. I have just the thing. There we go. I have no idea what he got, but that was hilarious. So I apologize, parents. Uh, this game was actually out about the same time that Earthworm Jim and all those really great, heavily animated, ridiculous things existed. And uh, I absolutely love it. So I always wanted this game as a kid. Oh, so I just picked up a chili pepper. So now, when he burps, let's see if I can do it. Oh. Oh, oh no, I lost a chili pepper. Dang it. So you can go down the toilet for a bonus level, but the bonus level is super hard, so we're just going to move forward. It only takes you like that far. It's kind of still. So anyway, when I was a kid, I saw this and my mom's like, absolutely not. About 10 years ago, when I really got into uh, rebuilding my old collection. There we go. One down. Nope, not enough. Dang it. So if you get enough plungers, you can go up there. But anyway, I got into... Uh, rebuilding my collection and uh, my mom actually bought me this game for Christmas complete in the box um, after telling me when I was a boy no freaking way because I mean look at this this is gross this is garbage pale kid style gaming they took a few boogers These levels are huge. No time on here. You can literally spend just however long you want just exploring and collecting everything. Um, it is kind of brutal, though. You only get three hits. And uh, sometimes you can't see you really good, like right now. Move. Oh, gosh. I fell into a pit of death. Yeah. Oh 
some milk. Red. So, where's that mucus? I don't know, but it allows you to hack loogies. Cool. All right. That's what every superhero. Oh gosh. Can't believe I didn't get hit. Cool, made it. So I don't know if we're gonna play this one all the way through. Um, it gets really stupid hard. It's more comedic than anything. It's not bad. I mean, it plays well. The animation is gorgeous on this thing. And for the Sega, it's got a great soundtrack. I mean, this thing. Ghost. Huh. That works. Oof. I think he had a person. Or a uh, creature. I think one of the big mistakes in, in this game is trying to do a speed run. Because the way they just generate bad guys, they just kind of pop them out of nowhere. Your field of vision is pretty limited. So my nephew, um, not naming any names, he will love this game, and my best friend in the world will absolutely hate me for playing it. Oh. What happened? Oh. I guess there was a secret there. Didn't even know. Maybe it was an extra life. Yeah, we're definitely not going for a high score on here. Level 4 already. Wow, look at this. I'm tearing up Boogerman. For being a I don't know oh, the first time I got hit. Dang it. For being a billionaire, I mean, I don't know much about billionaires. I've never met one. I've never been one. Um, don't think I ever will be. But from what I understand, most of them don't dig in the trash with their bare hands. Even the eccentric ones, you know? It just. I don't know. My cape's yellow now, so that means if I get hit again, I'm in trouble. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Cape right there. I can't get to it. I need it. Maybe I can jump across and get it. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, I couldn't do it. Man, those ghosts. I think those ghosts hit harder than just you know one cape. Maybe there's 
escape in here. Oh, just some mucus. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. I just melted into goop. Um, let's go up. I guess I can't go up. Oh, ow. Wait, do I have to start completely over? I guess the little outhouse thing we looked at uh, earlier. Ow. I burped on him. Anyway, the little outhouse thing I think was a halfway point. Just doesn't look like I got halfway. It looks like they kind of robbed me, probably. Nope. See him try to poke me, and then he's all like, "Well, I didn't do it." Just kind of. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. We'll take our time. I got nowhere to be. What about you? You got anywhere to be? I hope not. Hope you're enjoying the show. Absolutely silly. Oh gosh. Can I do it. Oh yeah. Refreshing. <laughs> My finger slipped and it worked. That was great. There's got to be an outhouse somewhere around here. At least my cape's red now. Cool. So the problem with the ghost is they're incredibly slow moving. And the goblins, they look slow, but man, they attack quick. Like, I barely had time to flick a booger at them. That's not the way. I'm not the Mandalorian, this is not the world. Here we go. I gotta go back and forth. Awesome. Oh, I can't wait to keep redoing this level over and over again. Better be careful, I might run out of snot. But at least I got a halfway point. Plenty of burp power. So I don't know if you can do anything with those plants or they're just background stuff. Same thing with the frogs, they just kind of hang out there. There we go. I'm not sure what those do. I saw something. Oh, please be a cape. I need a cape. Yes, it is a cape! Haha! <laughs> Back in business, I can start moving a little faster. Good. I needed I needed some bugs. My uh, snot supply was looking pretty gross. Cool. So kids, let me tell you this. There are times when you're doing a YouTube channel or a video of any type and something is gonna happen in the game that makes you say something you normally wouldn't say in your normal life. Oh, like, that nose just teleported me very far. Which is actually... Oh, oh, that wasn't good. I didn't even see whatever hit me. It was like a brown thing. It looked like the tree. It was a bat. Come on, come on. Oh, that was a leap of faith. Like, I was 100% certain I was dead there. There we go. Okay, okay. And one more time. Ghost, oh, and fall into the goblin. Got him. 
Oh! Oh, it's a spitter! Like Jurassic Park. I have no idea what the little red things are. It says this way. Okay. Nothing. Who would have thought in the pile of garbage there wouldn't have been anything? Bugs. Cool. I got some beer. Is that beer or soda? Oh. oh no, I think that was the end right there. Son of a thing. Ah. Oh. Take my eyes off the prize for a split second. Booger. I'll start saying that whenever I fail in this room. Booger. So this game got some mixed reviews. Parents hated it because it, it, it's gross. I mean, there's just it's it's got a bunch of childish, stupid, you know, poo jokes and booger jokes. And... But then again, the game is actually really good. Like it's hard, brutally hard. If we can beat level one, that's gonna be awesome. Um, I might do a level 2 video, depending on how this one goes. Because, actually, this is a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Like I said, it, it's hard, man. But it's good. And, uh... It's entertaining enough. So this was also released on the Super Nintendo. I personally own it on the Sega, though, so that's what we're reviewing. I like this one. I wouldn't mind doing, like, an Earthworm Gym playthrough. I love Earthworm Gym. Oh, boy, uh, got a sequel on the Sega. He got cartoons. He got, uh, he got a, a remake on multiple systems. Uh, he had a Earthworm 64 3 and 3D. It's all kinds of great stuff. Now, my favorite is the original Earthworm Jim. That is a flawless, beautiful game of sheer, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it without saying it. Um, imaginative stoner bliss? No, uh, that's pretty much saying what I was no, trying not to say. Oop. These ghosts actually make it hard. You wouldn't think just a slow-moving... Yeah, I remember you. You wouldn't think a little slow-moving ghost thing would just be bad, but yeah, it actually... Uh... Oh! How did that... Oh, well. Oh, there we go! Boogerman. A pick-and-flick adventure. I might come back to this sometime. Uh, here's the password. You got a, uh, blood drop, a Yeti. This looks like, um, yeah. And this guy looks like a goblin of some sort. Anyway, so I wouldn't really call this much of a password. So, until next time, game on, friends, and bye-bye.